are the 10th Legion, exiles from a dying empire who founded the Kingdom of Ebb. For 400 years, we guided and protected our people. We gave them peace, prosperity, fair judgment. Some say it was the death of the old king that turned the people against us. But it was Jane Cassinder who took up the sword and drove us from our chapter houses into states. I was not there for the final battle when the last of our legion faced Jane Cassinder beneath the boughs of an ancient hallowed tree. Nor do I know what power she called upon in that forest to murder my comrades and friends. After that, the forest was changed, twisted and ruined. Only Jane walked out of that place alive. Thirty years have passed since the Legion was destroyed, and Ebb has suffered in that time. War rages without end between Jane Cassinder in the east and the royal family in the west. A few sons and daughters of the Legion remain. You are one of their number. I write to you, my young friend, with urgent news. I know your childhood has not been easy, passed from one sympathetic household to the next, always one step ahead of our enemies. Your father, Human Baron, was our last Grand Master, and he would have wanted a better life for his son. But he and your mother are long dead, murdered by Jane Cassinder. As the last survivor of the Old Legion, I've tried my best to keep you safe, to ensure that you are trained in the manner of your forefathers with sword and shield. But Jane Cassinder hunts for us still. Now I fear that her spies may be getting close. We cannot delay any longer. We still have a chance to join together, rebuild the Legion, and take our country back from Jane Cassinder before it's too late. The sons and daughters of the Legion are gathering in the north at your family's old estate. I urge you to join us in the Valley of Rukenval as quickly as you can. Help us restore all that was lost. Your faithful friend, Odo. We have another rat trying to escape the trap.
was afraid everyone else was dead. Are you all right? I'm fine. But who are you? Have we met? No. But I've seen portraits of the Montbaron family. And you can only be Hugh Montbaron's son. My name is Martin Giscard, and I'm a friend of Odo's, and a son of the Legion like you. When I got here, the house was on fire, and everyone was dead. How did this happen? We didn't have any warning. They surrounded the house and hit us fast. I don't even know who hired them. Damn! They found us again! We can't wait any longer! I've set a trap. Three kegs of gunpowder on the bridge below. Thought I'd cover my escape if they found me. All we need to do is light the fuses. Come on, to the bridge. Go on, light the fuses. Two more to light. Hurry. And the last. Or so I thought. I did not know that you and Martin Giscard had escaped the destruction. As you fled into the night, you bore with you the future of the Legion. Pursued by enemies, fleeing toward an uncertain fate, you made your way across the empty leagues of the Rukenval. Throughout the journey, you were driven by a single hope that others had survived the devastation and that they reached the safety of the Rukenval chapter house. It was a slender hope, to be sure, but even a small hope can warm a man in the cold dark of night. As long as you drew breath, the 10th Legion yet lived, but your foes pressed close about, hunting you. The fate of the Legion, the fate of Ebb itself, rested with you. I know this part of the valley. We've come a long way. I think we're close to the old Legion chapter house. If any of our friends is still alive, that's where they'll be. Tell me about the attack. What do you remember? Odo sent letters to all the descendants of the Legion. He wanted to gather them here, train them as Legionnaires, and take back the country. Most had already arrived when the mercenaries found us. They surrounded the estate must have killed the men who were on watch. They smashed through the windows and the doors, slaughtered everyone they could find. Then they set fire to the house. Those mercenary soldiers, have you fought them before? They were Leskanzi, I think, a wandering people from the desert in the north. I have no idea who sent them here. Leskanzi will fight for anyone who pays them. No, our real enemy hasn't shown himself or herself. Not yet. How many people were in the estate when you were attacked? Almost 40. All sons and daughters of the Legion. Some of them had fought in the wars, but the rest, they were no match for those soldiers. We can hope that a few survived, but most of them are dead. Our enemies didn't seem interested in prisoners. Did you see what happened to Odo? No. I lost sight of him when the fire started. But we agreed to meet at the old chapter house if anything went wrong. That's enough about the attack for now. Right. Maybe Odo can tell us more. If he's alive. Let's keep moving. We can talk more later. You're right. The chapter house isn't far. Follow me. If our enemies knew we were at the estate, they may have guessed that we'd make a run for the chapter house. No help for it, though. That's where we agreed to meet. We'll have to stay sharp. They could come for us anywhere, at any time.
military camp. Less Kanzi by the look of it. Can't be a coincidence. Let's look around. We might find out what they're planning. So, there's a bounty on our heads. That means they know we're alive, and they're still hunting for us. There it is, the bridge to the chapter house. Another camp. They've hired a whole army. <coughs> That's all. Let's head back to the chapter house. Come on. The chapter house is in the other direction. Looks like trouble up ahead. Huh? What's this? Oh well. Looks like I'll make some decent coin for this job after all. Out of the way. We have no business with you. Spoken like a man of the Tenth Legion. Arrogant and foolhardy. Lucky for me, I found you first. That means I'll get a handsome bonus for your heads. You murdering scum. You'll have no bonus for my head. Lively up, boys. It's time to earn some gold. been shot by that bastard with the gun. If we're lucky, Odo is on the other side of this gate. You're alive? Both of you? I thought I... I was the only one left. Odo, you made it. But where are... The others? The men and women I've kept safe for 30 years? Dead. All of them. Do you have any idea who's behind this? I can think of a few possibilities. Jane Cassinder, for one. As long as we're alive, we're a threat. A symbol of the nation she destroyed. And there's the royal court, or what's left of it. They may still blame the Legion for the old king's death. Who else could have survived? We need to find them. My ward, Anjali. I sent her to keep watch for latecomers. She wasn't at the estate when we were attacked. And there's another survivor, too. The half-blood Lesconzi girl. I couldn't convince her to join us before, but things are different now. Might have been one or two others who hadn't arrived yet when we were attacked. Hard to say. Odo, who is this ward of yours? 
Anjali, my adopted daughter. She's unique. There's a foreign look about her. Resourceful girl. Learned that from me. Fights with a spear. She'll be hard to miss. If they're alive, I'll find them. Martin, you better stay here. I agree. You're bleeding, Geese Card, and you can barely stand up. I'll do what I can for Martin, but he'll be no help to you, not like this. I'm sorry. You'll be on your own until you find the others. I'll do this alone, then. Head for the town of Raven's Rill. Just cross the bridge and turn right at the crossroads. Try to find Lazar Basili, the town boyar. He's an old friend and he'll help us if he can. And be careful. Those mercenaries are still here in the valley. Keep your eyes sharp and come back safe.